Hi guys, and welcome to episode 15 of My Ultimate Team. I'm FIFA Vic, as always, and uh, we'll get us cracked off with a little match to start with. I hope you liked my squad builder episode from yesterday. It was um, It's an interesting hybrid, but like I said in the video, it was slightly flawed, but um, it showed you some good ways of getting some great players into one squad. I have some more of those coming. I'm currently working on a squad which gets the most out of El Sharawi, who has um, dropped quite a lot in price recently, um, which is what gave me the idea to do it. I'll show you another squad for around, I think it'd be about 200,000 coins, just a bit less. And obviously the prices go down all the time. In the Ultimate Team, as you know, we are building up the Silver Squad. We have gone for um, a Belgian Pro League squad, and there is so much pace around in this league. But we're just building up the cheapy players at the moment while we get some games going. After this game that we eventually spawn our way to victory in, we um, pick up a couple more players. We um, start by adding in a temporary piece to the jigsaw of, um, of the squad, of our hybrid gold squad. We, um, as you'll see in a second, we pick up um, this fella from Lille who matches well um, with Hazard and um, he's Brazilian as well. And uh, he slots in and he's going to fill a gap until we can get Dem Bailey and um, obviously Vincent Company as well is uh, the other player we need. But he links with Santos and he links with Hazard, so he's a nice interim piece in that jigsaw get drawn up against this time this team in the next episode as well guys you'll see me buy some silver players in this episode in the next episode you'll see me buy some more silver players and then what I'm gonna do if it's alright with you guys I'm going to do like um like a Bezit episode where I flick through really fast um, showing loads of matches in a row and I'll talk about some absolute nonsense in that video, unrelated to what you're seeing. So you'll just see me race ahead, get loads of games ahead in, in the in the footage. And um, we'll talk about something nonsense. Um, like the size and price of bananas or something along those lines. Maybe a film that I've seen or something like that. Or uh, my thoughts on FIFA 13 or anything that's going on. I am thinking about doing a predictor episode as well, guys. Um, I've got some thoughts on the Champions League final, which is about to happen by Munich and Chelsea. So I might do a predictor episode as well. So we've got um, another hybrid squad builder coming up. Um, I've got a fun squad to show you as well from my fun squad series. Go back and check those out if you haven't. And, um, and a predictor as well as the ultimate team that we're going through. Um, we got to 4-1 in this game, and the fellow we were playing just decided that was enough. 4-1 was plenty for him, and um, he left on 74 minutes. Um, so I'll show you some more trading. We get Nong up front. A lot of these players, guys, will be bench players when we get the team fully going. But um, for now, they are excellent cheap players to bring in to get this silver team in action. When it is done, guys, it's going to have so much pace. Look at the pace of all these players that I'm picking up now. This guy's uh, right wing, and he's got like 87 pace. He looks the business, but obviously we'll find out when we actually get to use them. I anticipate we'll be using this squad in episode 18, just to give you a heads up. And what we'll do is we'll get straight into the Silver Cup, no messing with them. We'll peg it straight in. Um, little chat for the comments, guys. For the comments section, who is the most expensive player you have bought this year? I was thinking about this as um, I was looking through the prices of players, sort of looking out for this squad. Like It's really surprising what the prices of some of the players are compared to other players. Like um, I've just picked up um, an Inform Cassano, and he was only 25k, whereas like other Inform 5-star skillers are really expensive. Like, Ben a quality player, but is he worth 80,000 coins and stuff? I don't know. Um, get a really soft penalty. Apparently, penalties are one of the things they fixed on FIFA 13. Apparently, it's a problem with the impact engine. 
in FIFA 12 and they've radically improved the impact engine in 13 and so a lot of these dubious penalties that you see in 12 shouldn't happen in um, FIFA 13 which is good news I guess although I like a bit of controversy in some of these matches um, Gardner has fantastic penalty stats he's got something like 82 penalties so he's got the best penalty stats so far in our team and um, he is going to take them for now the guy loses his head here um, on the halfway mark he brings his goalie out and I slide it through from miles away but um, as you can see the game gets really tight um, at this point and at the end of the game I'm sure he'll have massively rude making that little slip of judgement of error so um, this is the last goal I think actually I think yeah it finishes 2-1 as you can see and um, we take the coins and the win again with that one so next episode guys you'll see me further take this silver squad even further and um, I get a couple of really cool players actually I'll get a 90 odd pace left back and all sorts so thanks for watching guys cheers bye